Hi everybody, my name is Marek Matoszewski and today we are going to talk a little bit about crimes. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to use those to present you the UK crimes uh, data today. I'm going to use a very interactive tool, which is Power BI from Microsoft. And the data which I'm going to present to you are live data from the UK police. Those data are about regular crimes, um, regular crimes in central London um, between 2012 and 2016. And the second report, the same report, but the second data set is about stop and search data in central London between 2015 and 2016. So let's have a look on my screen over there. Um, we have here crimes. Don't forget, those are real data. Uh, we have here crimes in that particular visual over time. What does it mean? That we have here some spikes in July and some downs in January or here in September, right? But those crimes over time, they summarize the whole crimes uh, which was actually taken. But Power BI is so powerful and I can choose anything from the list over here and it will be cross filtered, right? So whatever I choose here, drugs, and I just would like to filter uh, people, who investigation complete, no suspect identified. I see that's eight, um, almost uh, 800 people from that category, right? But what would be, uh, what might be interesting for me is bicycle theft, right? And I can see on that map here, the heat, on the heat map, the places which are pretty dangerous where your bike may be stolen more probable than in other places. Those are the St. Paul's place over there or London Liverpool Street, um, pretty um, near to the church actually. But here is a trend over time and we see that those um, th uh, bicycle theft um, they are coming usually between May and September, rather. The, that's the spike time and the, the, the heat, the, the high time from when the bicycles are being theft. So maybe because of vacation, who knows, or any other reasons. And drugs on the other um, example are pretty irregular, I would say and about shoplifting well the most uh, the biggest peak is in november maybe that's why it's pretty um directly before christmas who knows and here are also on the map you can find where uh, shoplifting was done we see here okay marks and spencer um supermarket is maybe one of the most um, robbed shoplifted uh, center I would say right so um, that's what we can see here on the other tab I've summarized crimes by weather what I've done I just put to our data model um, not only the data from uh, police crimes but also weather data those are re also real archive data from uh, actually from the airport Heathrow Airport, but it's still uh, pretty near to to, to London um, itself. So I just um, come up with a mine with a theory that those data are also pretty worthy. So have a look what's interesting here. We can choose different crimes as like bicycle theft what we got before and have a look here if the rain the probability of raining is bigger 
then the count of crimes is lower. Or another way, if the temperature is higher, then the count of crimes is also more probable. The crime of uh, stealing your bike is more probable. Maybe that's the reason why the most bicycles are being uh, stolen during vacation, who knows? And another pretty um, funny example, I also had um, the data about windage. And we can see here if it is more windy, then we have less uh, bikes stolen. It's kind of trend. What I also have here, I also summarize the whole crimes in different trends. And I can choose here, for example, bicycle. We already seen the, the trend, how it looks like, but I can find over here that generally the crimes over time they are pretty decreasing, right? Because for 2012 we are not having the full data from the whole year, and we see that the crimes are decreasing. Okay, is it uh, true for every category? Let's find out. How about bicycle theft? Okay, it's decreasing. How about drugs? It's decreasing. Okay, perfect. I'm happy with that. How about robbery? It's also decreasing. Shoplifting? Yeah, that's the thing which is um, rather increasing and it's pretty negative. And the most um, heat month when the uh, things are being shoplifted from shoplifted uh, from different uh, shops is November okay so that's true and um, what we got here we got here crime overview animated so well that's actually the uh, subject for another video about um, sentence visual itself what we can see here pretty fast i will just show you the animation i prepared previously i just simply uh, click play and observe the titles in um, that in, in that place but um, the data which are being shown over there are still almost the same number of points they are only different visualized they are only a different categorized they are also th uh, 3d data like that crimes uh, by month here are drugs and criminal damage um, uh, summarized together uh, here is only the last outcome which is um, here bicycle theft and suspect not found and that particular uh, example is something different but okay that was pretty fast animation as if as i said that's the subject actually for another video but have a look what sentence is capable of um, I just find here bicycle theft that was the visual and okay I just um, found that um, that particular um, um, part is bicycle theft and uh, the resolution was suspect not found and what I can also do here have a look uh, okay I just click it out have a look 3d I can play with my data and show and see the uh, the insights in the three D form. Well, it's pretty fancy and uh, gives you much fun of it. But I can, um, for example, choose bicycle theft only data and make them, for example, exclude, uh, isolate, right? And I just isolated those data. Those are only um, bicycles theft visualized right now. Okay, I can maybe change some view. And the biggest um, column which we see here is, okay, let us find out. It's not that one, it's that one, which means investigation complete no suspect identified which means that there are many bicycles theft but the major of them were never found because the suspect was never identified pretty sad but also true okay that's uh, that's it about sentence about sentence i will post another video maybe 
sometime if you are interested type it in comments below and i will know that i should post that video maybe um, sooner than later okay stop and search details what we got here um so that's the second part of the data set the first one was general crimes and now only stop and search people were being stopped on the street hey what you got here Get, show me your pockets stuff like that because there must there might be different suspicions because of different um, subjects so let's have a look what we got over here on that blue uh, visual we see top male by object of search that pink part is top female by object of search is pretty um, the same but different visualized here we have our slicers slicers is our filters in power bi age range officer defined ethnicity and male and female by officer defined ethnicity we see the um we can compare those um, um those data those percentage data actually i would say and let's have a play a little bit with our data so um okay i haven't said you before um we got also here uh, different um, procentual uh, values like local resolution suspect arrested nothing found and stuff like that as you can see in general about um or stops and 30 percent of people who were stopped were um as a resolution arrested and 57 percent of people were usually um people by whom nothing was found and there was no further action okay so let's have a look let us choose people who are between 10 and 17 i will tell you about that particular uh, visual at the end so let's have a look uh, we have people in so teenagers between 10 and 17 and what we got here men are stealing goods in majority and females girls i would say teenage girls aren't taking drugs more often than stealing anything okay let's have a look what happens if i choose people between 18 and 24 well both male and female they are just taking drugs okay what happens uh, when i choose 25 uh, 25 34 okay men are still taking drugs and females are starting to steal actually right and if i choose people who are older than 34 then both male and female are just stealing goods so that's the insight from that report i found a couple months ago um pretty interesting isn't it and what else i can find here that uh, visual down here is suspects during the day okay and we see here a line okay i can um, select the day times where which are not interesting for me right but let us say i would like to see the whole day okay and we see here between uh, 7 and 9 a.m for our american uh, visitors 9 and 15 15 is 3 p.m right 3 p.m and then 6 p.m 6 p.m and 9 p.m then from 9 p.m to 6 a 6 a.m okay pretty straightforward i got i guess i hope okay and have a look um that green line those are people who were stopped but the outcome was nothing found okay and the red one is suspects arrested let's have a look we have here a small trend uh, between 9 and 3 p.m 9 a.m and 3 p.m the most pretty a lot of people are being stopped and nothing is found but have a look here in that particular time between 18 and 21 there is almost the same number uh, so 50 50 um, um, of people who are being stopped and 50 percent of them are actually people who are arrested right meaning that someone who was stopped between 18 and 21 well rush hours for police i would say and 
between 21 and 6, so I would say it's rather nightlife in nightclubs or stuff like that. Have a look here. There is a lot of arrests, suspects arrested, but there is also much more people by whom nothing was found. And what is the major reason why the people are being stopped? That yellow color. Yellow color is control something. I cannot read it, so I just hover on that um, column and I see control drugs. So, as I thought, nightlife, teenagers, or maybe not only teenagers, well, I can see um, how many teenagers are being stopped. Well, 17 suspects, right? because of drugs and 18 suspects because of stealing and older people so not so old but still old 34 is okay mid age i would say i'm not old <laughs> i'm 28 almost um well actually 27 yeah i am 27 sorry almost um yeah that's pretty much it. And what we got here also, stop and search by weather. So let's uh, say it's almost the same by crimes, also by weather, by, but in that particular uh, example, according to the temperature or the rain conditions. And I can say um, that according to rain conditions, if it's heavy raining and thundery rain, there are uh, much much less people are being um, suspected of having anything and they're also arrested uh, which is totally opposite when it's totally sunny weather or maybe the it's light rain shower right well england london it's raining almost all the time actually but yeah, that's the inside and is there any trend and when it's about older people mid age older than 34 well looks like that and children i have also children over here well i have no data about rain conditions um, because only two people were suspected so two kids um, because of um, light rain and seven teenagers well the teenagers will probably never arrest it if the rain is stronger than light rain, right? So that might be the insight. I would be glad if there is any statistician and the public come. Uh, I would be very glad if anyone uh, would like to join my little project over there and uh, maybe um, give some more data uh, which may gave more factors and um, produce more insights, um, not only about the weather, but many different insights. It might be very, very helpful. The data source of that whole uh, report is shown over here, uh, data point police point UK slash data. Pretty simple as that. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave the comments. How do you like the report, the whole idea? Uh, if you have any other um, factors which might be interesting for that particular report, then please share because sharing is caring. And as always, thumbs up. What motivates me is also subscribing. So subscribe the channel. And as always, have a nice day. Mm -hmm.